Good day everyone, you are watching the BVED 41 Group 6 vlog about the Field Study 1 activ Activity 5 entitled Assessing Learning Outcomes and Reporting Feedback. We have three types of educational assessment and those are the assessment for learning, assessment as learning, and assessment of learning. In this video, we are going to talk about how did Sir Oliver Iglesias assign assign teacher for us to observe one of his class use assessment tools according to the three types of educational assessment in assessment for learning sir oliver iglesias utilized motivational activities which is zumba zumba dancing to boost the energy and engagement of the students another assessment tool that sir oliver iglesias utilized under the assessment for learning is reviewing his students about the previous lesson they tackled last meeting Sir Oliver Iglesias asked different questions to his students that will help them remember the topic they have discussed last meeting. Now, the last one under the assessment for learning is giving supplementary to the students. During and after the discussion, Sir Oliver asked different questions to his students regarding about the lesson and he will give further explanation whether, uh, whenever the students answered his question whether it is right or wrong. In terms of the assessment as learning, Sir Oliver Iglesias as guide questions to assess his students' knowledge regarding the lesson. He uses higher order thinking skills questions to let the students think further, think about real life situations, give an example and elaborate the topic. In assessment of learning, the, the assessment tool that Sir Oliver Iglesias utilized is the performance test to apply or demonstrate the knowledge that the students acquired. Assessment or the evaluation is important in the learning process of the student because this will help the teacher to know if the student reached the learning objectives or outcomes of the lesson. Furthermore, assessing or evaluating the learning of the students will also help the teacher to enhance his or her teaching strategies and approach. The teacher will be aware on where the students are lacking and the teacher will be able to fill out those lacks. Teachers need to record the results of the student formative and summative assessment because this will determine the grades of the students and this will also help the teacher monitor the performance of the students. In recording the results of the formative and summative assessment of the student, it will keep track of the progress of the students achieving the learning objectives or outcomes of the lesson. So that's all about the field study 1, activity 5.